So guys, for the first step, you wanna head over to search and type in allow an app through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on it. Now once you're on this, we're gonna click on change settings and then we're gonna click on allow another app. And now you wanna click on browse and then you wanna find where you have Rocket League installed. So for me, it's on this PC, C drive, scroll down, program files, scroll down again, Rocket League, binaries, Win64, and I've got the rocketleague.exe file right here. You want to double click on it, which will then make it appear here. Then you want to click on add, and now you have it, and click on OK. Now for the second step, we're going to head over to search again, and type in Epic Games Launcher. Click on it. Now once you're on this, we're going to head over to our library, and then you want to find Rocket League. Now once you find Rocket League, you want to click on the three dots, and then click on manage, and then click on verify. Now for the next step, we're going to head over to search again, and type in check for updates. Click on it. Now once you're on this, we're going to click on check for updates and do all the updates that our computer may have. Now for the next step, you want to head over to search again and type in File Explorer. Click on it. Now you want to find where you have Rocket League installed. So for me, it's on my C drive, Program Files, scroll down, Rocket League, Binaries, 164, and then you want to find the rocketleague.exe file. You want to right click on it and then click on Properties and then click on the Compatibility tab. And then you want to tick Run this program in compatibility mode Disable full screen optimizations and run this program as an administrator. And I click on OK. Now for the next step, I'm going to leave two links down below for GeForce Experience and for the AMD software. You want to download it depending on your graphics card. Now, for me, I have an NVIDIA graphics card, so I've got GeForce Experience. If you have the AMD graphics card, you want to get the AMD software. Now, once you're on this, you want to click on the Drivers tab and then click on Check for Updates. Make sure that your graphics card is fully up to date. Now, once you complete all the steps in the video, you want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.